Welcome to an Ash Design training video. Today I want to show you how to use our new Amped Effect MVP action. The first step you'll want to do is load your action. After you've loaded your action, you'll want to run the action on a high res image, and then you'll be ready to save and print your file. You can pause here to read through the instructions, and I'll show you in the video step by step. First, under Window, go to Actions if you don't see your Actions palette. Once you load the image, action you'll see it here. Click on the right tab to load actions, find it, and then you'll see it in your palette. From here you just click play to run the action and it'll automatically make changes in your layers palette. Then follow the on-screen instructions to finish the process and go to your layers palette to make modifications Right now I'm going to duplicate the layer to add more detail to my image. And I'll turn that layer on and off so you can see the changes made there. You can make additional changes on each of the layers by double clicking on the icons and changing the sliders in the adjustment layers. Making some drastic changes just to show you how the image can be changed by playing with the sliders in each of those sections. Once I'm happy with how my image looks, I'll just go back to my layers palette Choose another layer, double click on the icon, and again adjust the sliders as needed. You can do the same on this color adjustment layer. However, under colors, there will be a drop down so that I can adjust other colors, whereas right here I'm just adjusting the red colors with my sliders. I can also choose from the drop down menu for others. Once I'm happy with my final image, the final step is to save out the file. I recommend saving a copy of your image and then just save it as a JPEG to be able to print at your favorite lab. Once again, you can pause here to read through the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm also going to show you how to do this action in Photoshop Elements. It's about the same process. If you're using Photoshop Elements 12, it's super easy to load the actions. If you're using an older version, you'll look at the links below to find more information about loading actions in your version of Photoshop. You'll notice I'm starting with my image open and I'm following the same step, Window, Actions, to open my Actions palette. And then I'll load the action just as the same as I did before. Once I load the action, it will appear in my palette and I'll just simply click on the Play button to run the action and follow the on-screen instructions. There are fewer adjustments that you can make in Photoshop Elements versus the full Photoshop. I can still duplicate the detail layer, which I'll show you right here. I just right click and duplicate layer to add additional detail. And again, I'll click it on and off so you can see the adjustment. And I can also double click on the sepia layer to make it an adjustment there to my image. And you can see, again, I'll drastically make changes so you can see what that layer does. Finally, once you're happy with your image, you'll just save out your file as a JPEG or save a copy layered file if you'd like. It's really that easy to just add detail and drama to all your sports and senior images. You can pause now to read through the instructions for using the MVP action in Photoshop Elements.